Okay, everybody. Uh, I'm actually driving to my friend's house, so on these long drives, I like to tell my dating stories. So today, I am going to tell you the dating story. Um, well, okay, so all my dating stories are all the guys. They all have nicknames. So this one is Pleasantly Surprised. Um, I matched up with him about, God, it's probably going on three, yeah, three years ago. And he lives kind of far away, like about an hour and a half from San Antonio. So we met kind of in between, went on the date, um, you know, cute. Uh, we had good conversation. He rides a motorcycle just like I do. Uh, he's 34 years old. Um, he's kind of like a handyman type of guy. But anyways, uh, we went on the date and then like nothing really came out of it. It was just like we, he lived too far away and there wasn't really like a spark there. And so we just kind of lost touch and, and that was it. And then probably like two years later I'm I saw him again I think he like got a girlfriend in between but then anyways I saw him again on Bumble and we matched up again and like we struck up a conversation and finally he was just like hey you know like maybe I should come over or, like you know we should meet up and it was like during COVID so I mean there's really not a whole lot of options when when you know it's COVID um I could probably do a whole video on COVID dating but basically you've got two options it's either you message forever and like send pics or videos or you just meet up and then you just meet up at somebody's house you know um so anyways that's what happened he came over to my house and uh, i think we ordered pizza and we watched um damn what's that show the one about the tigers um so anyways we watched that and uh we started making out and you know of course we start having sex and holy shit that guy was hung like a horse but even better than that was he knew exactly what to do i mean like he showed me some he showed me some positions um that i didn't know about well okay i know most of them but you know he i was like wow okay i'm impressed and our sexual chemistry is there it's just that like there's nothing else like we're not you know like he's into uh what do you call it those uh conspiracy theories and he's into other stuff and i mean like personality wise there's no chemistry there but man the sexual chemistry definitely there oh tiger king that's what we were watching so um anyways we started developing this habit where he would just come over to watch episodes of tiger king and then you know i'd let him be the king of be the king of my jungle so so there's that but uh what i was going to tell you guys is you know what swipe swipe right on guys or women you normally pop probably wouldn't swipe on like you're kind of like mm, you know i'm not sure if they're like exactly my type or they're not or they're like kind of cute but not like super cute because the problem with dating online is you you lose all those quirks like you don't see like you know you know like a guy could be kind of cute but then the way he talks or the way he moves his mouth and stuff you know like little mannerisms make him super sexy like you don't get any of that in a profile so I say you know what if they're on the if you're on the fence about somebody swipe right you know you might be pleasantly surprised like I was so anyways that's my dating story uh, for today is pleasantly surprised guy until next time